This is not clickbait. I promise you, it's not clickbait. Stick with me. This is legitimately the world's newest bike, the world's newest bike brand. So I am standing in front of the Devel A01 road frame. Now, I can bet that that means absolutely nothing to you. Well, it didn't mean much to me not that long ago. This brand was legitimately launched a month ago. So whilst I stand in front of this pretty incredible bike, guys, I need to tell you a little bit about Devel because, well, what the hell is it? Well, Devel is short for Development Project, and it's a new brand out of the Philippines, a brainchild of a guy called Paul Tan. What's interesting here is the Development Project is, well, it's essentially that. What he's trying to do is create a project that develops grassroots cycling and grassroots culture in the Philippines. We saw a lot of that firsthand while we were over there. So hence, when Paul contacted us and wanted us to get behind this project, we're really keen to help him out with it. So that's the brand itself, guys. But what about this bike? What about this A01 frame? Well, it's actually a really, really interesting story, guys. So six or seven months ago, we were contacted by Paul when he first started building this stuff and really getting close to release. He wanted us to do a review and bring it to, to our audience and have a talk about it. Well, I reckon he immediately regretted that decision because he told me that I could do a custom paint job. And well, I've got a little bit of history with this. So I really like pushing the envelope with it and testing two things in particular. The first is this two-toned color Comtex, some depth. Can you get that in a bike frame? Well, is this purple? Is it blue? Is it navy blue? Is it indigo? Who knows? Because it keeps changing color depending on the way you look at it. We've tried to shoot this on camera and honestly, I cannot bring you what this looks like in real life. It's really, really difficult. You're often riding it, sitting on top of it going, oh, it's a purple bike. Oh, hang on, it's a blue bike. What? The other challenge that I sent them was, there's a little unknown trick with this, okay? So I set them the challenge of chrome, which in itself is really difficult. But the trick with why I asked him that is because when you put that kind of base on a carbon frame, what it'll do is it'll bring out the imperfections in the carbon. Paul's got an advantage here because this is T1000 carbon, the best carbon you can get. The other advantage he's got is the fact that this is a very, very precise paint job. So when you see a chrome done, which has got a sort of poor carbon or a poor paint job, you'll see imperfections, you'll see dimples in the frame itself. You can't see that in this. That's a good sign, good carbon, good paint job. And the third little thing, guys, is the custom decals. Obviously, I, I, I went to town a little bit and threw on some, some Nero bits and pieces just to make sure Paul wouldn't take it back off me. And also, I put a nice little personal decal at the front. A little challenge. What does ECC stand for? Pop it in the comments below. Not a big challenge, but it'd be great if someone actually nails it. Let's talk about performance. So they absolutely nailed the paint job. I think you'll definitely agree with. I love the fact that I talked about the paint job before anything to do with performance, but we'll get there, we'll get there, right? So look, let's be honest, guys. They have not reinvented the wheel when it comes to the geometry of this bike. One quick look at those dropped rear seat stays will tell you that, well, it kind of looks like probably about 12 bikes that have been released in the last 12 months. So there is clearly some wind tunnel data sitting in a specialized lab somewhere that suggests this is what you do now. Your bike goes faster. And the Devel guys, well, they have done it. Obviously, I'll do a full ride review when I get a chance to. Hopefully, Paul lets me hang on to it for long enough to actually do that. But I have ridden it a couple of times and I have one word for you, stiff. This is officially the stiffest bike that I have ridden. And don't be scared, that's not me saying this is a harsh ride. I think the days of that are long gone. Now that we're running friggin' 32 mil tires and tubeless at 40 PSI, there's no excuse for a harsh riding bike. When I say stiff, 
I mean that every last little pathetic watt that I am putting into this bike is taking me in the forward direction. Have you seen the size of the bottom bracket on this bike? It is frigging huge. Two other points specifically about the frame. Guys, this was built by uh, Felice Santora at Cycling Projects. As many of you know, one of the best bike builders in the country. And he put this together for me and he had two comments. The first was he has never seen a frame as clean as this. Now I didn't know that was a, a thing. Quite often the higher up you go, the dirtier specifically in that bottom bracket area can be and he's got to clean it out before actually being able to fit the cranks. He said with this, it was spectacularly clean. The other thing he mentioned, and I'm sure like me, you first looked at that rear seat post collar and went, what the hell is that? So we went and checked with the guys at Develle and asked them a few questions about it and it is not compulsory to have it on the bike. It's just a sort of safety backup. Interestingly enough, the actual seat post system is very similar to the Willy Air one. However, this one cranks up to 10 Newton meters. 10 Newton meters. So I kind of feel that if I'm cranking the seat post up, this is without the collar, to 10 Newton meters that I don't need it. And to be honest with you, I'm probably not gonna use that. Let's have a little look at some of these components on the bike. So in the beginning, guys, I said that this was a new bike brand. And to emphasize that fact, when this bike was sent out, it was sent as just a frame. The reason for that is, well, this is such a new bike brand that they had not yet actually secured their partnership agreements with any group sets. So to put this bike together, guys, for this and for, for this chat, we needed some people to help us. And I cannot thank enough the guys at BikeBug for helping us out in a pretty spectacular way with the Campagnolo record 12 speed mechanical group set. I will hopefully get a chance in the next couple of months to do some review and some real specific stuff about that. But just some two pure aesthetic things that I absolutely love about this. The first is that crank. And if you look at the crank, the depth in that carbon, the sort of two-tone depth, almost offsets the chrome. And the other one, well, is these Campy Bora WTO wheels. I rode Bora's many, many years ago and uh, the narrowest, oh my God, like really, really hairy to ride. These different story, still super, super fast, but it's almost as though, it's, it's almost as though someone took a Ferrari and went, okay, yeah, we're gonna give you all that same handling, but you know what? You're gonna get padded seats now. Some of the last specifics on the particular build that the guys at Bike Bike helped us with, the Detta cockpit front end, the uh, Stellar Italia SLR boost saddle, which I'm quite interested to try. And I'm also really interested in these Favero pedals. I uh, haven't really ridden them much, but aesthetically really impressed. They do not look like power meter pedals, that normal bulky clunky thing, not really there. Guys, where this goes from now, Obviously, I will take this on the road and I will do a full review on the bike. I wanna go into depth with that because there is so much to cover here. We have a super busy, I've been bombarded by birds. We have a super busy couple of weeks and months. I will get this in, guys, you know me. I do wanna do a legitimately proper review on this, so bear with me on that. Guys, in summary, you can probably sense that I'm pretty excited by this whole thing. Excited is actually probably the right word. I was a bit um, honored, actually, honored to do this. Like when Paul came to us to do it and introduce his brand, his bike to you guys first, that's a pretty nice statement. You guys should you know, give yourself a little pat on the back there as well. Like that's a pretty cool statement. So this is something special guys. It's something different. It's a brand that is really approaching this industry from a very different perspective, trying to give back to its local community, its local cycling community an emerging cycling community. Obviously, please do subscribe to the channel. You'll get the full bike review if you do. Click over here for that. The race reports, the race vlogs, and the product vlogs are over here as well. Guys, thank you so much. We will see you in the next one. Really proud to have presented you this one. See you next time. Oh God. Oh, knees. Everything Tuesday night, Heffron. Ah!